Hi there, in this Microsoft Access video I'll quickly show you how to use, um, create a brand new table that will relate multiple tables together. So I've got these three tables here. You can look at the design and you see that um, they all have the data types, so if you need, want, need to check the data type, you'll be able to see the data type as well as any formatting that I added. So if you need to see how those are created, uh, th these two are very similar to each other. I created this one in the previous video uh, with a little bit more detail. This table products is a little bit different in that we have a field that I, a data type that I didn't go into in the previous video currency. So we can do math on a currency field. You can't do math on text fields. You can do math on other numbers as well. So I'm going to quickly close all of those tables. I'll create a brand new table. So create, um, you can just start with table design. That switches, uh, if you use table, you'll be in data sheet view and then you'll have to switch to design. If you use table design, it's going to be immediately in design view, which is slightly different. So we don't get an ID with a primary key assigned to it. You have to do that by scratch. So I'm going to quickly create, I'll show you what I'm creating here got an example. So what I'm creating here is this sales table. So I'll have an invoice ID column here. Uh, we'll be able to pick the customer from the customer table, the employee from the employee table, the product from the product table. We'll be adding this date for the sale and we'll add the quantity. So basically the only thing that we'll be adding data to in this field that doesn't already exist is these two columns. These ones will be picking the data from existing tables. Uh, this example will be in my description as well. There'll be a link to this example in my description, these notes. So the first uh, field, um, again, every table has to have a unique identifier, uh, also known as a primary key. So I'm gonna call this one invoice ID. This is the machine readable version of invoice ID and I'm gonna use auto number and I'll make that the primary key. And then I'll have a customer. I'll quickly add um, captions for these as well in a minute. Employee, uh, product, sale date. I'm gonna quickly assign the correct data types and do any formatting after I add these and quantity. So, um, customer, I'm just going to quickly change the caption, I'll make it a proper noun, customer, and again this will be picked, this will be picking the last name from the customer table. So to do that, under data type, I click on the drop down and I to use the lookup wizard. And I want to look up the, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table, which will be the customer table, it'll be the last name, so I choose next and customer, next, and last name, next, 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 and finish. Um, so notice that it says something about relationships. So what this means is when we use the lookup wizard, it creates a relationship between this table that we're creating and the table that we're looking up from. So we don't have to go and create that relationship. So I'll say yes, and I'll call this TBL sales. This will contain all the sales data. Choose okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back and format this invoice ID. I'm gonna make that format backslash, capital I, and a whole bunch of zeros. So that'll make it, it um, add these invoices in the zeros. The very first invoice will be I zero 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 zero, and then one will take the place of that last zero. Um, so customer, I've taken care of that. Capital C for customer, employee. Again, proper noun, human readable. And again, I'll use that lookup wizard. Exactly as I did before. This time we're getting the employee table data. And what we're interested in is employee last name. Whoops, not all of that stuff, just employee last name. And we could just next, 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 next through everything. And yes. And product, same thing. Next, 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 next. Once we choose the correct table and the name description. 
Next. Next. Oh, I want that to be wider so I can see the entire. If we edit the uh, column width here, I believe that'll give us the same column width in the form when we create it. So I choose next. And next, and we can just choose finish. Yes, uh, the pr product. Yeah, we're good. And sale date, that will be date time. And again, I like the format of full month name. Uh, one single day, and either you either get four Y's or two Y's, not three. Caption will be date of sale, no default value, although we may have today's date in there. No. I think we can add today's date immediately, but uh, um, I'm not going to bother with that quite yet. And then quantity is going to be number. And again, caption, proper noun. Um, number. There we go. And we can save. And I can create a form to add my data. So again, create form wizard. This time, table sales. All of my data except for invoice ID gets automatically generated. It's auto number. And everything as you would expect. I'm going to change the TBL to FRM. Again, that's the prefix I use for forms. And I can finish and enter some data for my uh, sales. I'm going to quickly change my layout here to be sales data. If we like, I want to make that a bit wider in case we change the theme. We saw that it got cut off in the previous example. Um, I go back to my form view to add the data. So I'm going to pick up my customer. I'm customer again, I'm using this as an example. Again, I'll add the uh, link to the description. So my customer is King. The employee is Downing. The product is Hanes 5050 Dark Colors. And the date of sale is, we can just add uh, abbreviation. So mine's January 11th, 2000. So I'm going to say 1 slash 11 0 0. I know it's 2023 now, but I actually created these uh, notes back 23 years ago. Seems like just yesterday. And 124. So that's the only data we need to add to all the other data we just picked, right? Um, so uh, one thing about this is if you um, incorrectly, for example, choose the wrong field uh, to be used for your, um, instead, for example, if you use the first name for employee instead of the last name. If you go to edit that so you can pick the last name, you're going to have trouble. So I'm just going to quickly save this. I'm going to close it and I'll show you what I mean. So under table sales, under the design view, for example, if for the customer, imagine that I accidentally used the first name instead of the last. So I go to edit this so I can choose the last name instead. When I go to look, look up wizard, the system tells me I can't edit it because there's some relationships in place. So to edit it, what you have to do is delete the relationship first. So I'm going to close the table. I'm going to go to database tools relationships. So this shows me all of my tables here. I've only got two there. Customers product, I need employees and sales. There we go. So this shows, shows me the relationship between all of my um, tables. These relationships were created once we make those so there's nothing, nothing crossing. Uh, once we use the lookup wizard to um, choose the table that would get the data for that drop down list. Um, so, again, imagine that I made a mistake and I chose the first name instead of the last name. So, in order to edit that lookup wizard, I just need to delete that relationship. To do that, you just click right on the line and you can press delete on your keyboard or you can right click and choose delete. And I'll say yes and then I'll save. I'll close my relationships 
and now if I go back to my table customers design view I can now edit that uh, sorry table sales customer I can now edit that lookup and again just as we saw before Now, if I go back to my form here, um, in this situation, if we actually use the wrong um, piece of information, you may have troubles and re you may need to recreate your form. But even though I deleted the relationship, this still works. So that is uh, using the lookup wizard. So creating a, uh, a table which relates all of the tables in this situation um, using that uh, lookup wizard. Thanks so much for watching.